Hello everyone and welcome to the lecture on errors and exception handling. In this lecture we'll see how to handle errors or exceptions by using the try and accept statements. We saw that errors or mistakes could happen while we run our program and exceptions are errors in Python. So we call them errors or exceptions. We'll see how to handle errors or exceptions by using the try and accept statements. So the format for using try and accept looks like the following. We have our try keyword and then colon, new line. So our statements go here our statements go here so we can have one or multiple statement and then we'll have our accept keyword and then there will be some code here so execute this part if exception occurs So this is the general format for try and accept. So try your code here. And if there is any exception, execute this part. So in our accept statement, we can leave it like that. Or if you know the kind of exception, you can name it here. For instance, you can say, value error so these are optional you don't necessarily have to give your exception a name and another thing we try and accept is you can have one or more accept statements for instance if you are anticipating or if you know uh, let's say two different kinds of exceptions could happen you can say except and then name of the exception for instance i can say zero division error or something like that and then in that case it will execute this part of the exception and in the first exception in the first accept statement you could ex expect let's say value error value error so if your statement here has a value error it will execute the value error exception here and if your statement has a zero division er error it will execute this part so this is the general format now let's look at some examples let's say we prompt a user to enter a number Okay, so let's say, let's use the row input function. If you are using Python 3, use the input function. I'm using Python 2, so I'll use row input. And let's say, please enter a number. And then we'll convert this input into an integer. So we'll cast this whole string into an integer and then once we have that let's save this in some variable called number num and then we'll print out the number you entered is okay let's do some formatting that format then we'll pass the name okay let's run our code please enter a number let's say eight run it we get the number you entered is eight okay so what if i enter something else please enter a number let's enter a run it 
we get a value error. It says value error invalid literal for integer with base 10 a. So our input is invalid. Now let's handle this exception using try and accept. So we can say, so this is our statement, right? Prompt a user to enter a number and then display the number the user entered. So we can include that in our try statement. So try, and then inside our try statement, we'll include our statement. So try this, and then if there is an exception, we'll include the accept keyword, accept. In case of exception, we can print the number you entered is not an integer or something like that. Okay. Now let's run this. Please enter a number, nine. The number you entered is nine. Okay. Let's run it again. Please enter a number. Let's say A. Now if we run it, you say, it says the number you entered is not an integer. We no longer get an error, right? Earlier we got a value error, but here we don't get any kind of error. We have handled the exception or error by using the try and accept keyword. So try the statements and if anything fails or if there's an exception, print this statement. So a nice statement is printed. The number you entered is not an integer. As I mentioned earlier, when we use our accept statement, we can simply say accept colon and then whatever you want to show. Or if you know the kind of error you will get, you can name it for instance, we know we're gonna get a value error. So you can mention, you can give your exception a name, except value error. Then run it again, please enter a number. Let's say JU, run it. The number you entered is not an integer. So this part is optional. So giving the error name in your accept statement is optional. We also mentioned earlier that we can have one or more accept statement. Let's look at an example. Let's prompt the user to enter two numbers and we'll try to divide the first number by the second number. Okay. So we have our row input function and then let's say enter the first number then we'll cast it to an integer by including everything in parentheses and then using the integer function we'll cast it into an integer and let's save their first input in a variable called first and We'll do the same thing and prompt the user to enter a second number and we'll save it in a variable called second. Row input, enter your second number. Then we can print out first number divided by second number. Say print first number, let's use some formatting, first number divided by second number is equal to, let's say, the result there, 
then we can say that format and then we'll pass our first number second number and then the result which is first number divided by second number okay let's run it enter the first number let's say nine enter your second number three so we get first number nine divided by second number three is equal to three that's good let's run it again enter first number let's say eight enter your second number let's say five run it first number eight divided by five is one okay let's import the division module from future from the future module import the division function division this will allow you to perform true actual division if you are using python 3 you don't need to do this but for python 2 users you can import division from the future module that way we can get the actual result of our division okay let's run our cell again enter your first number nine enter your second number seven okay now we have the true division result okay next what we'll do is let's put a zero for our denominator enter first number three divided by second number zero we'll get an error right so we get a zero division error we'll include an except statement to handle this zero division error and another error that could happen is what if we enter some other numbers some other input that's not a number for instance enter your first number what if i say p run it i get another kind of error right a value error so what we'll do next is include two except statements to handle those errors the value error and zero division error let's do that so try we'll try our statement first number and then second number and let me copy the print statement also then paste it here so try first second and then print this now let's add our except statements except we can say print you can only enter integers for first and second so this will take care of the value error let me name it value error and the second kind of exception or error is a zero division error so we can say except zero division error then print the second number cannot be zero okay now let's run our code enter the first number let's say eight enter your second number if we enter zero we'll get our zero division error exception the second number cannot be zero okay let's run it again enter your first number seven enter your second number let's enter some character let's say t enter you can only enter integers for first and second right we got our value error exception similarly if we enter a character for our first number 
and run it, we get our error. You can only enter integers for first and second. So this is how we can handle exceptions by using try and accept keywords or statements. We mentioned that we can have one or more accept statements and the name part is optional. So if you are not sure the kind of exception, you can simply leave out the name and just say accept colon and then your statement. We'll continue our discussion on errors and exceptions handling in the next lecture. Thank you everyone.